All right, we are live on the Power Hour. He's Batch. He's Han. I'm Asa. This is the show. Is it still the Power Hour, or are we uh, Fox Light, or whatever some of those comments were? <laughs> but we'll get to those comments. Okay. Don't worry. We'll definitely get to those comments. We have some uh, some new fans out there. I have oh, not yeah. read the hate comments. So I haven't they're not read. hateful. They could. We'll, we'll do better. They could this be time. way better. They, yes, we're hoping for. I'm kind of eager to hear these hateful comments. They're not that hateful. I thought there were some of the ones I read were somewhat hateful. I have a high bar. That guy needs some good stuff. Do you like high Mars? What? <laughs> oh, I love high Mars. <laughs> we know. <laughs> Actually, I'm more of an attack them kind of guy now. But, <laughs> I forgot you know, about the. We want to talk about that. <laughs> All right, so wait, I'm st I'm still one of those six hundred dollar rocket guys. Katusha, yeah, Katusha, Katusha Batch, Katusha. <laughs> that sounds there you go. That sounds like a fancy like a great... Lebanese restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we'll talk about the election, Trump winning, and all that. But this is inside Lowell, so we're gonna talk about Lowell. Okay, changing of the guard. There's there's it's nationwide, and it's local. And it has to do with the media. You saw it. We'll talk about it later again with CNN versus Joe Rogan and all of that. But locally, you've had two really important members of the media. WCAP, the radio station. Well, they say Jerry Nutter. Well, that's part of that. And the Lowell Sun. Both AM radio and newspapers are kind of fading out of existence right now. Not their fault. It's just the way of the world. But... I got to bring this up. This is the life, life support segment of the program. Yeah, no, this is going to get me like banned forever from the radio. <laughs> someone needs to someone needs to do this. So Jerry left the morning show. Yes. Have you guys listened to it since? No. I gave it 10 minutes one day, 5 maybe 5 and uh it was unlistenable. All right. So yeah. I I hope Jerry goes back to his blog was really good. I hope he goes back to that. The curmudgeon? Yeah, I, I used yeah. to love that. Cranky I, Jerry. I'm on record. Yeah, Cranky it was Jerry it was really good. Far better than happy. Let's talk about Disney character. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. But so we got to say this: the new morning show host is Hartley. I never met him. Hartley Plesha and some producer named Kevin. Never met either of them. This is not their fault. They're not from Lowell. They don't know anything about Lowell. They got placed in this show. They're going to talk about what they talk about, which is not Lowell. I just have no idea how on earth you can have the WCAP morning show have two hosts not know anything about Lowell. It seems very strange to me. So it's the, nothing against them. If they took you and I, if we did our show in Tewksbury, we'd have no idea what the hell we were talking. It'd be the same thing. So it's sure, nothing personal. The, the uh, what happened to the Caswell and where's the pig farm? That's it. We do that <laughs> twice an hour. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Maybe, maybe talk about Italian food. Maybe the old batting cages over there oh, yeah. on uh, Main Street. But so it's it's nothing against them. It's not their fault. But they mentioned neither of them know who Eric Gitchier is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, on. He's very. He's on the Great Lowell School Committee. Well, maybe a couple terms on the yeah. city council, slightly polarizing, maybe. the leading vote getter in the entire city in the election. If your morning show at WCAP doesn't know who he is, what are we doing here? Maybe Eric should get a, a bigger social media presence so that maybe they, they could follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm maybe, sorry. Maybe he could post something and here. Guess what? Let every, you know he's doing his job. Everyone in Lowell that listens to it feels the exact same way, but for some reason, no one will say well, it. Well, so I mean, I will take one for the team here. I will be banned from the radio. Yeah, but that's fine. To be, we got to get Hartley. He, I've heard him. He does a show on Saturday. He's a music like DJ guy. He's super. He seems like the nicest guy on earth. Wait, this he does is the a guy music that show. used to be. Uh, oh no, that was Hutch. I was thinking of Hutch. Not Hutch. No, Harley. <laughs> but he's. He's. I mean it. He sounds like the nicest guy around, and he does a show on Saturday. Everyone listened to it. He's talking about music and venues, and it's great. But that is an important part of Lowell. Like he's part of their media. Yeah, part of the like, city's culture. Like you have to have someone there that knows who Eric Gitchier is. But he didn't. It's not like they didn't try. That's true. I know they did. They tried. They asked around. <laughs> they sure did. They may have asked two people in this room. <laughs> no names given. Let's just say it wasn't Han. Yeah. You guys can do the math yes. with the rest of that. <laughs> no, but no, it's they tried, but someone's got to step up. And again, uh, I'm not trying to get anyone fired or anything. Give Hartley any other show, like any other time. Just that is, it's important to Lowell. Like well, with the I, city, with what's happening, there's fires, there's 
whatever, this controversy, the Bob Hoey thing pops up. You need a place to talk about that. You need a place where Bob Hoey can call and defend himself. Like you need, it's part of the community. You just can't have a show. Well, it's hard to, <laughs> but it's hard, it's hard to find volunteers nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. So I it's just, it was part of the theme of just, there seems to be a turning of the page on a number of fronts in the country. And here in Lowell, the noticeable one is the radio station and the newspaper. Oh, the pay, so I think the the radio station, I think, I feel like that could be temporary. You know, like. Yeah, no, all they need to do is, again, I'm trying to get anyone fired or anything. Just yeah. Put Hartley in a different time slot or whatever. Great. I, I promise I'll But listen, I mean, there was but... this hope there. The sun, I don't know, man. That thing is just, it's gone. The reporting's been really, the reporting's been off. Like the. It's not even, it's so biased now. I mean, some of the stuff, like, I, I, don't, I don't remember the reporter's name, but this, they've got an axe to grind with, like, Corey Robinson, I think, for one thing. Oh, well, it's clearly a battle going on between the reporter, Melanie Gilbert, and Corey Robinson. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I don't think it's necessarily, you know, doesn't seem super fair. Uh, you know, it's, it seems personal on both sides. Seems like a new thing, you know, the media being biased. <laughs> Well, Corey gets to be personal. She doesn't. She's a, you know, it's a reporter. You know what I mean? And like the, I don't know, the column is not what it used to be. Thank you for bringing that up. That's the whole point well, of the where col- I'm going. The column used to be stuff you'd read to find stuff out. Now it's like, hey, I wonder what they, I shouldn't say what the they The column like. is, has always been probably the best part of the Lowell Sun. When you're younger, it's different. You like the sports section, you know, the little AYO baseball league the fake you box know. scores that used you could start your own fake league. Outstanding effort. I averaged 35 points. Mike Batchagalupo with outstanding defense. No, you would have the two ship batch with <laughs> foot. Do they even do they even run those anymore? The box scores? I mean it's no. just the it's just the Herald Light, isn't it? With like one one or two local The Sun, again, it's they've got no resources. It's the bigger, I'm the not sure they have a, I don't think they have an office, by the way. I don't know, but the bigger issue with in the wool. No, in general. Oh, Denver, Colorado, they don't have one or where? No, no, like, okay. well, yeah, like around, I think they just send it out to print somewhere. And, but there's no, I don't think there's like a, a pool of reporters like there used to be. Maybe, well, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. It's... Again, there's no resources. There's no money. And what we're going to get to is different than the big picture. The big picture is it's the same thing throughout the whole world. Newspapers are dying, AM radio stations are struggling. That's that. But the Lawson always had the column, which wait, wait. I loved. The day they died, though, once they got rid of Dan Phelps, that was it. You think that was the moment? That was the moment. That's when you knew it was done. Well, yeah. No, it's definitely been on life support. All right. But the column, you know what it is. It's for anyone <laughs> watching, I know we got New <laughs> Hampshire God. and other people. Actually, we have a Ukrainian that watches the show sometimes. Slava. So. But the column is every Sunday in the Lowell Sun. It's kind of just musings and little notes and rumors and it's things little tidbits from the Lowell political scene that aren't worthy of their own story but it's interesting speculation on a yeah, lot say, behind yeah, the curtain. Mike, Mike, yeah. here i hear mike bachicalupo is getting signatures for the school committee or something it's like yeah. you know you're not gonna run a whole story on that but it's interesting people find people yeah. like it's great it's it's been great it's been on life support but that's what it is. That's the product, right? That's what the column does. In baseball, you pitch and hit a ball. In the column, you give rumors and little stories. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but here's a little. This is this week's It's column. a reading from this week's column. Okay. okay. We'll start almost towards the end here, but it's the whole thing is like this. Yeah. And by the way, book reading was one of CPA's strongest <laughs> segments back in the day. Oh, the book club? The book club. Oh, Gilly Moe loved the book club. He still mentions it. Uh. He loves it. Okay, right, let's do a little reading. Tell me if this sounds a little preachy. Again, newspapers have editorial pages. Yeah. You can do an editorial on the front page. You can put it on top of the fold. Like You can do whatever you want. The column is its own thing. So, if you voted for Donald Trump in this election, I truly hope you are happy. I hope you see every single one of his campaign promises, and I don't want to hear a single complaint from any of you. 
when your immigrant loved ones get removed from your life in the largest mass deportation in history, I don't want to hear a word from you because that is what you decided you wanted. Now, don't jump in here. Calm down, okay? Well, next, My next do paragraph. I, do I look cranky? When you get food poisoning or tainted medication because Robert F. Kennedy gutted the U.S. <laughs> Food and Drug Administration, you better thank Trump because that is what you decided you wanted. All right, that one pisses me off. When blue states are denied emergency assistance from federal government, Plea, uh, because they do not express fealty to Trump, I hope you blue state Trump voters are happy because that's what you voted for. When you or a loved one are denied abortion care in your own life, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I hope you're happy. When all the nation's power is concentrated in the executive branch and you wake up in a country with no checks or balances in place, with a raging narcissist in power, I don't want to hear a damn word from any of you <laughs> because you'll be getting exactly what you voted for. But hey, that's democracy, baby. <laughs> that's the column. <laughs> Not Danny Rourke was caught uh, taking a leak at Kerouac Park or whatever the column actually is. That's worse. This is a reporter going crazy. Right. A local reporter. A Somebody reporter. That... Not an editor. Not a columnist. A reporter. In the column. Not in the editorial page. Who did the paper? This is disgraceful. Sorry, there's only one reason to read the Lowell Sun, and it was the column, and it's been on life support for two years, and this kills it. It's over. Pull the plug. Goodbye. Carry on. And by the way, I think I feel the same way, regardless of which side they were taking. Like the idea. Absolutely, it's that's not, a thing. It's you not an to, it's, anti. I could agree with every single word written there. Write I would your, hate write it your just as much. editorial if that's what you have to say. That's yeah, don't, it doesn't belong. Yeah. How, how do you go back to being? Yeah. That's an unbiased reporter after that. You're going to show up tomorrow at City Hall? Hey, how you doing? Like, oh, yeah. It's a strong indicator. You're that literally... This, this reporter was never a biased you're at all. You're yeah. at all. Like, like, you guys were here on election night. Trump won Drake it easily. Right? Yeah. But probably it was like 55-45. I, th yeah. I think he... I think you were here. I was watching you guys. Trump won Drake it. He's won Drake it every year he's been on the ballot. You're just yelling at all your readers. <laughs> you're preaching and yelling at your own readers. In the column. Listen, Trump derangement syndrome is real. This person has it in a big way. And, uh, you know. It's, it's just. It's sad to see. Oh, it made me mad. It's it's sad it still to makes see me you're mad. Dragging down the column. And Batch is right. Batch is right. It, I could agree with every single word there. It doesn't belong there. Everyone knows. And the worst part is I think the reporters, and there's two of them, actually, I can't just blame her. Peter Currier. There's two names attached to this. So Melanie Gilbert. Peter Courier. That didn't end up there on accident. It's the only part of the paper that people still read. They didn't put that in the editorial side because no one would read it. It's like they're forcing you to read it because it's the one part. That, but at the same time, you're destroying the only product that people might want to buy. <sighs> and no, I, this isn't a Corey Robinson thing. I see him once a year and I say hi and that's it. 10 seconds a year. This isn't about him and you and all of that. This is disgraceful to put that in the column. Sorry. Well, it, it's kind of, the, it's a nail in the coffin, right? And it is. It, that's what it feels like. I, yeah. I, and I want to put this disclaimer out there. If the two of them know that they're shutting their doors and the sun is done and they said, screw it, then I almost respect it a little bit. And it's just like, we're just going to burn the boats on the way out here, right? I get that. Another, how does, how does an editor allow that? How does that get by an editor? I don't think they have an editor, do they? Both are really <laughs> bad. It either got by an editor, which is bad, or it got approved by an editor, which is worse. I don't know. Put I... that, it has nothing to do with opinions. Put that anywhere else. This is a small sample of a giant problem with the mainstream. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's just really, I'm not, again, I'm not yeah. the only one. Everyone read that. I was like, what on earth is happening right now? This is, yeah. you, that's it. That's Whoa. the end. That's so, it. Where does Global go next? That's the question. Well, I mean, what, it, it, it kind of shows why when you look at the election turnouts, the presidential the, the, the turnout in the presidential election, so much higher than when it's the non-presidential, right? And it's because, you know, who knows what the hell's going on? Like, if there's no presidential election, most people in Lowell, like, they don't they don't know what's going on. Where no, they... and even the few that do, like, you, these are that's why I bring up these two specific things: the WCAP morning show. And the sun and the column. Like they're important. You only had 7,500 people vote in the last city council election. 
that might be your high water mark if you don't have a a good media. Mm. CAP has still got the Saturday crew. Saturday crew holds it down. They do good. You got Warren, Jerry, yeah, and uh, Sean Ash. And then every other week, you got Marty and Joe. And the, they're good. So they're there. But, you know, something about Monday through Friday during the weekday, that's when all the actions happen in a city. What The morning drive. Yeah. No, oh, it's, it's part action. of the fabric of Lowell. And it's like those two things, just at the exact same time as this election, it just feels like this is the end of that line and something else needs to rise up. But I don't think it has yet. Like, I'm not saying we're not trying, but yeah, it's not inside Lowell yet. It could be. I think it will be, but it, not yet. Teddy needs some sort of live show. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like a good idea. Or, or something. As, you know, there's the City Life show. I don't, have, I don't have Facebook. I can't watch that show. Oh, yeah, the funeral They're show. Always, it, oh, dear, you don't say it. I hear they don't like that. <laughs> it's a good show, but it's it's something, right? You're talking about, you're informing the public about what's going on. So how about the Inside I mean, this, Lowell live morning show okay. with, with an interactive feature where people can yes. chirp in and I'm yelling at Teddy. He's like, talk dude, smack. you got to do it. you got to. Someone has to. But again, or you could write articles. You could have multiple contributors. Similar, right? Nah, when people are working and driving around with AirPods, reading articles. I think Batch know? would have a problem. Imagine having Batch guest write the column for the Sun. That wouldn't be a bad idea, Batch. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. You could float. <laughs> Imagine rumors according to Batch. That would be awesome. Now, those would be good rumors. I would love <laughs> it. rumors. They would. I mean, he'd have the spiciest <laughs> column. In oh, yeah. I think it would be, be sponsored by every Batch. The Sun might need you. <laughs> Save it. So the Sun's on life support. We all agree. And here comes Batch just pumping on the chest. Let's go, Batch. The Batch column? That would be fun. You'd have it? every divorce lawyer in Lowell sponsoring that. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a. That's good. Well, I mean, I, you know, it's funny because, like, when I when I look back at, you know, I mean, listen, newspapers have been dying since what, like, nine, when was the internet? Nineteen ninety five. The bigger picture and the fact that the Lowell Sun will eventually, unfortunately, go out of business has nothing to do with those two reporters. This is an isolated incident. No, I mean, it's been on it's, life support. If whether they were here or never here, it wouldn't matter. So it's and, separate those two things. But I mean, it's just you look, you think back of like what. I love the Lowell Sun. I loved it. There was a lot of good reporting. It was great. And just when you're a kid, like reading the box scores, sometimes, you know, the West Coast games, you get them a couple days later, but still. <laughs> but I mean, for, <laughs> you can see how the Padres did, but yeah. laying there, getting all the ink on you. But there was, there was late that, 90s, all the jobs, the, the help wanted. The Lowell great. Alita, you remember that? What was it? The Lowell, Lowell, Lowell. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I knew who it was. Oh really? Yes, she was a good person. She still is, but like save that for your first the batch column. Oh yeah. that. Yep. Oh just, but it's just you know the, you look you when you think back of like there was a guy that um, I think he owned a record shop for a while after, but like he used to write about music, right? Dave Pease? What? No, um, Peaver. Peaver. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I I don't know the name, but you're close. Yeah, there's a V, I think. P A E yeah. something. No, I think yeah. I think Peaver is correct actually. Yeah. yeah. But you had, like, I mean, freaking Jerry Callahan started at the Sun. Like, you had a lot of panos. Teddy used to write for the Sun. I mean, there was. Oh, the Lowell Sun alumni is, is amazing. It is. It, and it started in 1878. That's like, whatever, 12 years, time, 13 yeah. years after Lincoln. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's important to Lowell. That's, that's why this makes me genuinely mad. Well, I think. Go back to Campanini or yeah. Kendall Wallace and Chris Scott ran the column for. They. They knew what it was. Everyone knows what it is. And he would, like Chris Scott would occasionally throw an opinion in there or throw an elbow at someone he didn't like. But he respected what it was. And it was good. Yeah. And he, he it's had, not this. This is garbage. And I thought, like, he had it's, some gravitas, at least a little bit. You know, like there was. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, and, but, but no, there's been columns written by the, probably the same two people that it was always great. There's a great Lowell headline. There's another Lowell story. Then you get like a chimp sort of Drake it. Yeah. And then you see a Shirley story and you just don't even read it. Yeah, Shirley it must be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, you see Grot and you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm done here. No, but I mean, I, I, even, you know, lately, like, I mean, a lot of stuff you'd read it and you're like, I already knew that. But like, at least it was, it was still there, right? It was still worth checking out. And I know like they'd be shared every now and then, but that's just not right. <laughs> no, it isn't. And it just, it's, it's, it's not the, Facebook. Right, it's the rantings and rape. It's not Facebook. It's not your blog. You don't own that. Like that's an important part of Lowell. It just is, and 
It's done. Good run. What comes next? Nothing. Your boy, Richard Howe Substack. Excellent weekly recaps. Yeah, I mean, I think he does a good job with the elections. Uh, you know what? At he least... does a great job with the city council meetings, too. Well, at least Which, just... by the way, I'm not going to get into it, but there's a meeting starting... What time is it? It's, it's starting it's a half hour oh, yeah. ago. It's 6.51 on Tuesday night. Yeah. So there is a one of the homeless encampment motions on the agenda tonight. Yeah. And there are 24 registered speakers. <laughs> so there's going to be some action if you're watching this show tomorrow sorry we don't know what happened to the council meeting but we know it was good we know that someone got thrown out oh you know, I, we want to pull did someone get thrown out i'm wondering if there's gonna be, remember when they had the uh the protest where they stopped the meeting yes i could see something like that happen tonight yeah like i think they're gonna um they're gonna come in and bring, now nah, you get 24 people you're gonna get a rowdy no they're gonna get they're gonna bring those you know those tents you just they pop up really easily okay. they're just gonna pop them up in the middle of the, <laughs> like a soccer goal yeah, they're, gonna, they're, kinda, they're gonna come in you know with their blue tarps but like you know what that would be a good power move you're trying to outlaw camping and you just set up a campsite yeah, right camp, there a couple camp. guys in the background holding up the blue tarp <laughs> that wouldn't be bad the right? batch column <laughs> yeah <laughs> The vagrancy vanguard, here it comes. So we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> the no. vagrancy vanguard's not bad either. I mean, we, we kind of have bad timing tonight because it's like whatever the lead story in Lowell is, we won't know it's happening as we speak right now. You know what though? I mean, we will know where to listen to it, but for fuck's sake, it's gonna be this twenty. What is it? Twenty four speakers. Twenty four. That's a rough one. I know, but like people, I, and again, most people will go up and just like give their opinion. There are people that think. This is their like Martin Luther King moment. Like yes. this is gonna be the hell to die on. Oh yeah, no, oh, it's, it's just like this is gonna be the speech of all speeches. I know exactly. And it's like I know exactly how. Just, I'd... Come on, three minutes, chop chop. Yeah. If I was in the council, I know exactly what I would do. What would you tune out in one ear and out the other? Absolutely. Yeah, it's twenty-four yeah. people. Like that's it's a lot. Yeah, that's that's not even. That's a thing, and it's gonna start getting. It's mob mentality. It's it doesn't matter what the topic is. It could be anything. You get 24 speakers in there? Yeah, but those are the... It's going to be wild. But that's all 24 people that agree. Like, that that's, this is a bad idea. Every All 110,000, right. and, and, and they know they're going to lose the vote. Yeah. So, oh, that's oh, why I'm like... Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. Know this. You know, know what? The trail of liberal tears is just... That I am... The trail of liberal tears. I am definitely going to the council meeting as soon as we end this. Oh, I'm you absolutely, are. Oh, absolutely. You're going to yeah. live stream? The tale of one fears. <laughs> X. 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 Let's go. Get Inside low on X. Right. Let's go. So yeah, no. All right. Now we're we're, we're transitioning here. We we. This is the well, moment. We're calling it. Wait, we're transitioning. Is... <laughs> Speak for yourself, sir. No, was... This this column's really got to you. So, Richard Howe's Substack. Yeah. Oh, I need to ask you this. What? Last time we were here. Yeah. We talked about his weekly recap. Yeah. Which again, his. Council recaps are great, and his website is historically awesome. Yeah. So, like, he's far more liberal than, I know, speaking for myself, I am. But it's great. So there's something for people. It's been around, but there's something for you. It's a good read. It is a good read. It's free. He does a good job. You had your theory last show that yeah, the it's... Lowell Illuminati. So there's there's been, you know. Which I'm not saying he's a part of. Uh, I'd say so. I mean, he's a very, I think he's an influential person. He's oh, well he connected. definitely is. But um, you could see there was a level of, there's a level of frustration with the, you know, with the counselors, like the the district counselors and the non, what they're focused on. And all that. Yeah. And I think it's, I think it's a pretty, for some of the old guard, I think it's a pretty typical thing. And he's been talking a lot for a while about like, you know what's the different what do you like what they should be focusing on which they're not then the then the whole um you know direct elect of the mayor thing came up right and i'm just like all right well it's, he's you know what he's pretty soon it's going to be ditch plan e and go with the mayor sure uh, an elected mayor sure enough and the column before the last one that came up so okay wait wait not the column the, the richard Howe. not the upset. column yeah his his so yes, we had there's been two since then. Now I'm sucked into this world. I mean, I read it anyways, but yeah. I've got you in mind. And I'm wondering if he's speaking to you. <laughs> I'm mean, not, but you had the theory about him. Yeah. His next update after that show, which I'm pretty sure he didn't watch, but in my head he did. So he's responding to you personally. And it was just like, there's no way they're changing it. You'd have to go to court. But I'm like, oh, yeah, he is just dunking on bed. No. <laughs> so, I mean, it's... so this is two weeks ago, right? 
That doesn't make Batch wrong. No, but you know, I mean, anytime someone's going to Dominique on a Batch, I'm for it. I support that 100%. <laughs> Last week, he did another update, and he mentioned it again and said, you know, you, the truth. Like, it's, you need a court order. You need all these things. It's not going to happen. But then he stuck it in. He goes, but... I think I would prefer the strong mayor. Yeah. Is that a batch? Yes. You got it. I know, man. It's, but it is possible because I could easily change the charter. No, you cannot easily change the sure charter. That was his whole point is that you have to go through. Right. They brought it up. There was it, they judges. Had a, and the judges aren't going to like, you just changed it. You're going to change it again? What are they? It's not about what you did lately. It's just no, the legal no, no, grounds no. of it. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. I'm telling you, you want some action. In the next. No chance in 10 years this happens. I'd say in the next five years is a movement to have this happen. Uh, we'll see. Maybe a movement, and then maybe it takes years in the court, so. I don't think it would take years in the, the court. The earliest that would happen is a decade from now. Nope. That's best case scenario. How many more years you got of uh, Ed Kennedy? So we did our show. <laughs> the pa it's, not, it's not that hard to change the charter. It is. No, no. If you're going to the state house and you're doing it that way, it's doable. When you're going through the courts, it's much more difficult on purpose. They don't want you constantly switching it. And then what? You get a whole new council in and they want to switch it back? I mean, the consent to... It's uh, built to move slowly, which is good. I don't know. Do you want strong... Ma what, what is this? Are you, are you trying to run for strong man? I don't want that crap. I think it's a terrible idea. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just leave it the way it is. Let's go. I mean, I'd give, I, mean I, I think it's... I think the worst thing... This, the worst thing that's happened to the city is the... And I agree with how on this is it. There's been a, a preference or like a, you know, every um, every three years we were bringing in another state legislator. So you might as he's got he kind of has a point about what he's saying. I don't. I mean, I think we, I think the city would be better off with professional managers, right? Uh, I think Tip's doing a great job, but I think overall, you know, I think that's a better a better way to go. If you had a mayor, I just can't imagine like a strong mayor every two years or even if it was four years, like. How much disruption it'd be in the city it'd be a terrible idea all right belvedere would control it for sure always yeah and yeah i can see how that that could get away but I, i'm telling you like i don't know if this this there's, there's ways around everything so new media lowell voted for high school and collie and they got rid of that vote dominique <laughs> you got ducked on hard real hard oh, that, one, that was that, a belvedere that was more like tom chambers oh. <laughs> <laughs> so new media Okay. We talked about here inside Lowell, right? It has shows and it's got blogs, and I think they just started a Tuxbury show today. I believe so. Did you see? Oh that? yeah, uh, I get the woman's name. The woman that was on the radio with Jerry before Jerry left. It's they're doing it. Thanks, uh, Jerry. Appreciate that. Good job. It's a whole like it's a bunch of different stuff, like different topics. They call it the uh, Tuxbury JD's buffet. <laughs> <laughs> like, where, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> but no, so once Teddy gets some sort of live programming, then this place will hit its stride. And I'm not saying it's failing. It's doing great. It's growing. Doing it's, way better than I never thought it would it's be. It's unbelievable, the yeah. growth and everything else. But it needs an anchor show, like a morning show. So, Teddy, if you're watching, because you own the place, up on that. <laughs> but so Inside that Lowell. Right? Yeah, inside Richard Lowell. Richard Howe, we got yeah. that. We're piecing this together. The infrastructure is not there for Lowell's new media. How about Reddit? How about Lowell Reddit? I never, I, I don't really do Reddit. I didn't either until someone sent me this message. Lowell Reddit <laughs> hates us. <laughs> Wait, is it great? This is makes it, me happy. Is it on the Reddit no. app? Is that where you? I mean, obviously. Yes, be, right? I, I'm not great with. with I've never been any. on Reddit. Well, I'm gonna go on it for you right now. Okay. All right. Good. So here's the. I don't know. Do I even have Reddit or what the hell's called? I think I have it. Headline. Talking about our show, us. Wait, is there a, is there a so there's a lol, um, like a lol feed yeah, or whatever? I'll show you after. <laughs> okay. Lol mass. Okay. So, talking about this show, headline: Local Newsmax question mark. Oh. And I should preface this by saying Reddit in general is very liberal. Yeah. Which is fine. And the lol page, from reading it now appears to be very liberal. Which is, is this the one that says uh, fine. new rule effective immediately, no uh, solicitation reminder on this sub for any reason? <laughs> that, what, is that? this it? Uh, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that is liberal. That's about as liberal as you can get. <laughs> it's a good warning, though. Look at it. That's, that's a new rule. 
Should that rule have been kind of understood anyway? Just refreshing the rules. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever we oh, did our show. Wait, wait, what else is on this site? Uh, Jesus, this. this seems like a cesspool. No, well, well, no, it's actually good. It's people like, hey, what times Elliot okay. Hot Dogs open to? Where can I get good Thai food? Okay, okay, it's fine. All right, all right. It's all right. Got a very liberal slant. And they hate us, but it's it's good. And to anyone, you need something. Holy. Something. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's go. So, local Newsmax. Newsmax. Felt like I was watching Discount Fox News Newsmax. This guy, this guy. So right off the bat, knows. that's that's a pretty Not good line. Bad. I'm gonna give you. I like that line. Eight out of ten on that one. <laughs> that came from Holy Moly on a Poly. <laughs> Salapoli? <laughs> I thought he was more of a. Let's see, let's see some okay. of these other messes. Some of them don't make much sense, but. AM radio has finally discovered the internet. <laughs> Just as anybody's saying, it's trying to leave, leave algorithmic social media behind. All right. That's pretty good. Not bad. Clever. AM it's, radio has found social up. media. That's pretty good. I know. I, I wasted an eight. It's an eight, too. That's 8.2. That's better than the, uh, the other one's pretty good. All right. They started by calling us Newsmax, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Newsmen would be more like it. <laughs> okay. Oh, I get it. Nine. That's a good one. We like that one. That was from Ida, Idaho Duncan. Idaho Duncan, you're the leader in the clubhouse so far. We got to, so do we try to turn them or do we hate view? No, we, we try to go to war. Let's go. No, but no, but you go to war. This is peace. This is Fine, peace, peace. Time. Let's go, whatever. You you asked the question. I don't, I mean. They... Here's a message, ready? It just says losers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going low. I'm going like a two on that one just because it needs a little more. I don't know. Sometimes ugly losers, fat losers. No, no, no. Sometimes just lose. I mean, I know a pure loser. The simplicity of it, it's uh, pretty good. It is. It's, it's clean. Pretty good. I, I kind of <laughs> like it. All right. Let's see, is someone trying to usurp John McDonough and the fellows over at City Talk? Ooh, Ooh. that's someone. Who Maybe we are. I, wait, <clears throat> are we? I don't. I mean, I've heard he's conservative, but I don't. He is a nut. Yeah, right. I who do I hate the most? I thought you probably, probably Han. I would think Han. I'm saying. You're out. Like you're a nice so I'm guy. I'm taking all the hate for the team. Well, no, no, no. I'm no, here. Don't worry. I mean, I love him. Politically, <laughs> you are much more hateful. But just personality-wise, I'm much more hateful. Like as in they hate me, or I'm a hateful person. I don't know. If Lowell, How am I hateful? If Lowell Reddit could do a poll, that would be great. <laughs> I think I think Lowell Live Feed has proven how Han, but how, the taste of Han doesn't always go well. Oh, that's that's next on my list. Well, Lowell, Lowell, Lowell Live Feed. Let me hate me all day. Let long. me read the last message. So I've learned how Reddit works. I don't know what the hell it is. Like ups and downs, right? You get an up. People like what you said. Yeah. It's a super liberal, which again is perfectly fine. But that mentality will go up, and if you're the other way of thinking, you go down. This one, negative 10 points, or whatever the hell they call it. I enjoy that show. Those guys are funny. Oh, who's that? That is from... Is his mom? But, oh, you know what? <laughs> BA70. BA70? Is that you? No. no. What year were you born? Not that year. No, it's not me. That's him, right? No, no, no. No? No. All right, well. I don't believe it's him. I don't know who BA70 is. <laughs> Sounds good. This one was kind of interesting. <laughs> I like it. Either way, uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we did the radio before, and we had the live text line, and we'd get a lot of hate, and we enjoyed it. Yes. So more, we had some more really... to merrier. But at the same time, if any of you actually want to do a podcast, I'm dead serious, and you debate us, a, come in. No, and... it's the, it was a debate anyway. <laughs> come in and do your own show, whatever it is. You could be Democrat, whatever. You don't have the power to do that. I'm about to have the power. Okay. Self-deputized. Send an email to Teddy Panos at AO AOL. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Teddy Panos yeah. at AOL.com. That's not a joke either. <laughs> that, not a joke. That website's going to create a whole new thread. <laughs> <laughs> and before you ask, yes, you have to put a stamp on that email. But... <laughs> Send it to Teddy. If, if well, one of send you it, send a fax to him, <laughs> I know the feeling. You, you look around, you're like, you want some sort of entertainment or media, and it's what those whole shows about. So if one of them is watching this, and who cares if they hate this show or whatever, if you're good, and you want to do it, send an email to Teddy. Give it a go. He'll give you a try. Did you read this one though? Oh, here's one. Dear Reddit, can I please have some advice? 
No, he's my, just gonna read the whole Reddit. Like, no, no. Die, wait. My my dad always drives me crazy to soccer, with CIA talk to soccer in a in a panel van and gives out paper to people at my soccer <laughs> games, and he refuses to wear shoes to cover his ugly toe what should i do there you go who, that's a good one you throw it out there to the community who do you think that could be I don't know. It sounds oddly specific. it's time stamp from a uh, caesar sucks here's the last oh it one. also says go uh, go go toros oh i think i say go russia <laughs> the last one batch looks like a failed civil war reenactor <laughs> That's pretty good. And that's uh, actually from me. I they haven't approved it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, all right. That was, nope. that was pretty good. <laughs> so, our list now of new media is at Dick Howe, Inside Lowell, Lowell Reddit. Mm -hmm. What am I missing? Facebook is a big one. Ugh. Oh, you should. Yeah. I know, but it's, it's probably the biggest one. Because you're not on there, right? But the problem is, I know, I will never be on there. But. People must hate it because it's just the same big personalities just arguing constantly, right? Well, like the low live feed form. That's gonna. That's what's gonna be. The, the bias in there is really ruined that site. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying if no matter what the topic is, the same like six people just yell at each other and like, yeah. No. You want to talk about liberal tears? You should check in on the low live feed form because there's gonna be a whole lot of whining and crying over there. I don't think anyone mentioned liberal tears. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, because you, you don't. By the way, a lot of wellness check, checks over there. So, because you don't have it, right? You don't have the Facebook. Yeah. Uh, my favorite, my favorite thing that's been popping up. Speaking of liberal tears, uh, we these are, these are some of the memes. We aren't ending friendships over politics. We're ending friendships over morals. <laughs> there was a huge difference. That's that's the attitude right now. And I already read the, that. That was in the column, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> and then, I mean. yeah uh what was the other one there was one i forget where it was um oh crap it was basically it was saying we don't give a sh we don't give a shit that people are struggling financially uh, oh yeah no it's everywhere it's it was like you know ima oh here it is imagine training your your wife and daughter's freedom and well-being for cheaper milk and eggs i'm like well imagine being a single mom in lawrence and you can't afford milk and eggs how are you gonna vote you know why this is why Oh, what are you pointing at? Huh? Oh, it's still the economy, stupid. Ah, very nice. If you want to know what yeah, happened in the election, if you want to know, if you want to, by the way, in the, the women are blaming the women because, like, the white women, over, like, the white women vote went to Trump instead yeah. of Kamala. Um, if you want to know why, it's, it's, wait, that's, that's going to sound sexist. It, one of the reasons why I think that Trump won in general is just, it's, the economy. Talk your way out of this one. Come on. I don't want to say the, the bread, the milk, and the eggs is about the woman, but no, like, you know, it's it's the economy. It's always the economy. Doesn't matter. Seems simple. You want to fight about? And I, they're not. They're not. When I say marginal issues, I don't mean they're marginal to the people they affect, but issues that don't affect a lot of people. Yep. Aren't going to win elections. While I agree with Batch that the economy is a huge factor, and in this election, absolutely in all elections. But I also think that culture is a huge one, too, where you have had one side of the aisle who has been attacking American culture or classic American culture, basically calling everyone racists, everybody's this. Everyone who disagrees with me is a monster. If you don't vote the way I vote, you should be canceled. If you don't say what I say, you should be canceled. And it's, it's really un-American, right? I mean, we've had people... Like, look at wherever you work, right? Could you go and actively promote Trump at your work? Oh, well, no. Most most people won't do that. So there's a lot of Trump supporters out there who just feel like, eh, like if I go out there and and I, you know, toot my horn for my candidate, you know, I'm going to catch this boatload of hate. Like people will actually try to cancel me. People actually try to like go after my job. You know what I mean? That's a ridiculous. Well, that's not America. That's not American. That's not a. That's not a good thing. That 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 is to a degree. It's like pressure. It's like it's like a tyrannical style of pressure, right? Like you have to agree with me, or I will cancel you. And that's bullshit. And you know yeah. what happened? It got voted against. So the people, the market has spoken, and the market has rejected that trash. Thankfully, and here we are. <laughs> All right, there you go. So, you sound pretty angry for winning. Oh, I'm thrilled that that it went the way it went, and it it happened quick. Like Batch and I were talking, we, we could have called this thing at eleven o'clock at night. You know the way it was. Yeah, going. once the, once the line hit twelve hundred, we knew it was over. Yeah. How can I bet on Han losing the poll on Lowell Reddit? Most hated. Good. Train. <laughs> Train. Train. Train.
<laughs> I mean, I, I honestly, I will say, like, I, I know people that are a person who did a vote swap, right? And they've uh, gotten what? a vote swap. What does that mean? It's, I don't really know how to explain it. Is that it. a federal crime before you say whatever it is? No, but it's just, you kind of like, if you don't like both candidates, it's a way to kind of offset that, whatever. Like, I mean, I just left the thing blank, but like, she got crap for not, or he, he or she got crap for, uh, <laughs> she, for, she crashed her Tesla. I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I like, went to the store. But like people, people out there are getting crap for not voting. Like just who, can, like you, it used to be impolite to ask people. Yes. And now people are like losing friendships over this. And you know, the only reason I don't lose a friendship over something political is the high school. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. No, even that's stupid, but like, there you go. bring back uh don't ask, don't tell. Oh jeez. I'm serious. How about politically hey, political, don't, don't, ask, don't, ask, don't, don't tell. How about you how about I mean this is a one way street here, right? I mean this is the no. left, the left side. Oh, you think that right people are like, "Oh, you didn't vote for Trump, I'm never going to talk to you again?" Like how often do you hear that? I watched Han get yelled like, at at cookout a couple weeks ago. It was great. Oh, really? Oh, what's oh, awesome. What happened? I won't oh, say any oh, names oh, or anything. Oh, oh, got, it was good. It was good. I got bitched. Hey, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I agree with whatever Han was saying, I'm agreeing, but I'm like you just left him hanging oh yeah oh, no, man. Man. i was i walked away like damn why didn't i record that i caught the touch i caught the ultimate one which is <laughs> you think people should take horse medicine i was like oh oh wow i was like oh wow, jesus really? still on the i was like oh wow i now, of horse, now i know how the effect of anti-malaria drug that's been proven yeah. to We're help not, against yeah. covid yeah that one the one recommended by the cdc yeah yeah, yeah. We're not at the horse medicine part of the show, but we will get there. We're, we're getting close. We're doing our all media right. thing. All right, all right. Who's got the biggest individual media in Lowell right now? The biggest individual media? Yeah, I know. I know. I worded that horrible. Well, it's got to be the Lowell Sun, right? They probably have the most. Well, what do you mean? Like by reach? I don't think so. Or inside Lowell. There's <laughs> someone you're forgetting. Someone I'm forgetting. In Lowell. Yep. And it doesn't have to be political. Eric Gitchia. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook. I mean, the bean shooter. Oh, bean shooter. Oh, bean shooter. Yeah. yeah. He, again, it's different. We're more talking politics and yeah. civics and local government, but just individually in Lowell, new media. He's a monster. Isn't like it he, bean shooter 6'9. We want to make sure we get it right. I don't know. I I don't have any of the social media. I don't know. I only see the YouTube. So my Instagram, that's like if I turn my Instagram on right now, yep. it will probably go right to bean shooter. You How many that? followers does he have? A lot. Uh, I don't know. Check it out. But his podcast. We're going to do a little experiment. I don't know where the podcast is, though. The podcast is on YouTube. It used to pop up all the time, and then it vanished. We're just going to hit it and see if Bean Shooter pops up. All right. Oh. Is a guy getting run over by a postal truck? That'll definitely come up. Uh, all right. Yeah, let me know. Uh, so. It, he's got I know he's. Do you ever I watch his YouTube show? Yeah, I mean, I, so I never. I mean, I knew I knew the guy, right? But So you know him? Well, I know who he is. I, he's, it's Tommy he, Lee's son. Tommy, we got to talk about Tommy Lee. But he goes to the he goes to the coffee bill. So I, you know, one day, I got a text from my cousin out in Colorado. He's like, "Hey, I saw you on Bean Shooter." What the hell are you talking about? And he sends me this clip, and it's me in the coffee the coffee mill, <laughs> hanging out with one of my friends. It's a uh, a policeman and uh, it's Bean Shooter and him messing around. Yeah. And I'm in the background, and I'm like, "Oh, I." I know that guy. Like he's in there all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize he was this big social it's huge. Guy. Like, I mean, again, yeah. it's YouTube videos get thousands and thousands. Can't park there. He's. <laughs> but I, yeah, I don't. Fun. I don't see all that stuff. That I don't see any of it. Oh, then you're missing all the good stuff. I know. But Watch I just, out for that fresh air. Yeah, I mean, fresh air is gonna get you. Is he? <laughs> they do the YouTube show, and it's a yeah. lot of prison. But he had an old timer on a couple months ago. And this guy's probably eighty years old, like an old. Fashion career criminal. I don't say that in a negative way. It's what the guy was. He was an old art thief. Oh, really? Spectacular. It's the most interesting show. This just simple, nice old guy sitting there. Yeah, I got jammed up and something with a shooting and a robbery. He goes, so I went and I was about to get arrested, so I stole a Picasso. <laughs> Wait, what? He goes, yeah, I needed something to get out of that charge. If I had the Picasso, I could trade that for this. Oh. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the greatest show I've ever seen. Everyone needs to go watch that. It, Interesting. I don't know what it's titled, but you know when you see the pictures on YouTube. Did you have a little insight on the Gardner Museum? Something about it, like still unsolved. This is the type of guy. Five hundred million. 
Yeah. You know what? I gotta watch it again because if they never yeah. mention that, then he definitely did it. <laughs> I think you're right. I bet. I bet. You gotta watch, find the one. Yep, there's two old guys sitting there. Yeah. I mean it. It's better than any content that at the Lowell Sun or anyone has put out. It's fantastic. I think he probably has the biggest reach right now. He does. He definitely does. Again, it's not political and votes and all that stuff, but just overall. Again, when, whenever he started doing that, you think he'd ever thought he'd be bigger than the Lowell Sun? Why don't we just bring him in? He would probably like he'd probably come in and shoot the shit with us. Same. I don't know if he would. Do you know his father? I know I know where he used to work. The Gaelic Club? Yeah. Or the prison? I thought it was Oh wait, no, no. He, it was uh, yeah. I'm thinking of Jack Brady at the prison. Oh yeah, yeah. Tommy Lee is the greatest bartender. Yeah, he used to work ever. up at um I'm a big fan of Tommy exactly. Lee. I'm saying if, like the perfect bartender is has to have qualities, right? Like it's Yeah. It's not some pretty girl that gets you a nice drink. It's a guy that knows everything. Can, you need to make a bet. He can find it. <laughs> you know, if he sees you losing your bet, he might give you a free beer. He can hook you up with a girl, but you know he can steal that girl. Like, like there's five tool bartenders. That guy that would win Jeopardy. Tommy Lee was the greatest. And you can shoot the shit with him about anything. Anything, right. That's, I mean, the Gale Club had good bartenders, but he was... The best. Who, uh, they're trying to think of the crew. Sorry, I'm just having a moment here. The so crew? There's pipes. There's Froggy. You had Froggy for a little mayor. while. Big, big city. You got the mayor and assistant city manager. Both excellent bartenders. Uh, Fat Ray. Yeah, kid, that, that kid Charlie was there for a bit. Charlie, yeah, yeah, no, he was good. Mirror Do you guys Ray. remember, uh, I don't know if you worked together with Captain Ron, Ron Goddard? No. <laughs> He was at every bar downtown. No, I don't know. It was pipes, slats, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. General. Yeah. Dancing Bear? <laughs> Dancing Bear. <laughs> was the nicest guy. If you got him mad, he just became the Hulk. But no, I think he's probably got one of the biggest followings. Right? Yeah. So that's where we're at. I mean, it just needs to grow. I think Lowell overall is in a good spot with the link starting up and UMass Lowell. Next Tuesday, Teddy's interviewing the... Uh, Dean at UMass Lowell in charge of the AI department. Ooh. Oh, really? Ooh, Are yes. you coming in? Oh, of course I'm coming in. <laughs> oh. So, how next... many boxes of tissues are you bringing? Oh, man. So, yes, I mean, <laughs> not because he's crying. I'll be the third man, I'll be the third man in. <laughs> but, yes. <laughs> Again, I'm not going down here. I'm just saying uh... the important things for the future <laughs> AI, energy, robotics, nanotech, yeah. nuclear engineering. UMass Lowell is just primed to fly so <clears throat> it needs a media to fly with it that's my point oh. it's kind of starting here the new media it's already got a foundation but it needs to do better so if you're someone watching this if you hate us or like us it doesn't matter if you think you can do it go for it like it's not I mean, trash talk that's the genuine i mean the best the best would be if you had somebody that would buy you know the, the radio station and the paper and then combine it with like what what they're doing here that's that's that would be the best. See that you're a multi-platform and you're across, you know. Right. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. You just need the paper itself. Like I can't believe they're still printing them. Honestly, a lot of these nationwide, they're all digital only. The fact that they're still printing newspapers is actually. But, I mean, you it's could, actually impressive that the Lowell Sun is still doing that. But you can get the. But eventually, you just need the two things you need. Yeah. You need a weekly talk show live that you can chime in with, mm -hmm. and you need. A digital source, which inside Lowell is, it will only get bigger. But there'd be a lot of synergy. Like you could, you could create. And then you have content. your novelty Sunday mornings as Dick Howe. Yeah. This is there. There you go. I mean, you do a Sunday paper. You don't do a daily. You put all the scores in there. You take you take some of the uh, interviews that are done here, and you put those into um, into writing for people that write to, like to read. Yeah. You do the whole like. There's a way to do it all. You know. So will you actually at least do one batches column here, <laughs> like on a Sunday? This could be fun, Batch. I, mean, I don't want to. I'm not a rumor spreader. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Hang on, hang on. He's, whoever, probably, he's the source. Whoever like, everyone talks the rumors about him, right? So nobody tells me anything. They don't want to. <laughs> well, you know what? All right, how's it? We'll, on, we'll have a new. All right, the opposite. We all just make up rumors about Batch. <laughs> well, I, that, that's feedback. not too hot. I, you know. But we, you could have Batch. Like he could do like a team thing. Right, Batch has a one thing about Batch is he's got plenty of teammates out there, right? So like you could actually have this column that you could construct, and you could have like 
little input from a couple other people. They could write a couple of little. Was a mafia graphs. captain of the rumors? Uh, I, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm pretty like, sure. Capital if I me, he could. <laughs> what if you guys could be hearing? the master ed editor of this whole thing. I think it would be good. I will say, people do tell me a lot of shit, and I'm just like, Same. it stays, it stays a... here, buddy. Oh yeah. Here. Oh yeah. They'd have to say from now on, on the record or off. Yeah, I mean, it, it, the great thing about the column was a, it was a great way to get people kind of. You know what, Batch could do this. Going, you know? He could, he could Great. do call him. He could yeah. put it inside That's why wall. it makes me so he mad. Could, yeah, I, he, I like it so much. That's why it pisses me off. That Batch way. is a contributor to Inside Law, right? So he yep. can put it on Inside He's Law. A, I'm sorry. We can, They're we called can insiders. It. Oh, I'm sorry, Batch. Start off. So are you. My bad. Nope. There you are. I am absolutely not. He never signed on the dotted line. Nope. Free agent. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> but now I can't go back to the radio. Shit. <laughs> Did you really? Well, oh, that no, that wasn't like an. It wasn't like a. It's like we're at you know having sex scandals at Beacon Hill. There's no NDAs. It's just. A, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so that passed. Will oh, that, yeah. Will they actually did. do it? Yeah, I mean, they might. They might. No chance. There'll be some pushback, right? There will be some lawsuits and some pushback and some laws and I some lies and I some stall, delays. And that stall to the point where they stall. say Diana DeSaglio. What if you become governor and <laughs> you know, literally do anything to not have this happen? I she, if I was her, I would take that chip, which is great, and just put it right in my pocket and go. Talk to me. I Good just, for her. Yeah. I She'd mean, make a nice senator. Yeah. We talked okay. about that on the didn't we? On election night? Or was that I could get behind her, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Politically speaking. Yeah. But no, I mean, I think, but, you know, the uh, progressive don't like her. I think because she worked for a Republican once. I don't know what it is, but, like, she's, people, like, in, uh, up in Lawrence, they love her. Oh, yeah, Ando no, that was too when they end up, like, that's. Yeah, they speak. No, you know what, people in Lowell love her, too. Hey, she, st she stood her ground. Yeah. She's a really good politician. By the way, she's right. She is. No, everyone, I mean, the only way she doesn't become governor yeah. is because she can't win a Democratic primary. That's it. I, I think she's... If she's the nominee, she would bury any Republican because she's, you know, moderate Democrat. Yeah, I don't think they... I think she might have a better chance. Which is rare. Hey, man, how's the stock market doing since Trump took over, by the way? Just Seems curious. to be doing well. Stock market's flying. Uh, gold dropped a little. Bitcoin through Bitcoin the is flying. Oil's down. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all of a sudden, energy might get cheaper, huh? It's going to be some uh, interesting <laughs> stuff. It's right. interesting how since Trump won the election, all of a sudden, Qatar's like, yeah, you know, these terrorists no longer welcome here all of a sudden. At some point, someone's going to gonna say, Qatar. take their billions and hang out elsewhere. They don't know what he's going to do. He's not in It's know, amazing that everyone just lets Qatar be the headquarters of terrorism. It's crazy, right? Like, yeah, we'll go to Qatar. Like, everyone... At some point, someone's going to realize, they're the boss. <laughs> they're the terrorists. Well, they're one of them. They all live there. Yeah. Like, literally, Hamas, the Taliban, Al-Qaeda. But it's interesting how how voluntarily, like, you know, Qatar wants no no more of Hamas and Qatar, so they're gone. Yeah. Uh, the EU, all of a sudden, is like, to hell with Russian gas. We need U.S. gas. LNG. Yeah. It's 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 kind of amazing. It's kind of like almost this could be good. Like if you're if you thought Trump was a good decision, like I did, um, you're almost looking at it like wow, how this is this is before he even takes office. I'm not starting a debate. I'm just you asking know? a question. The the hooties are gonna stop attacking. The They're gonna the hooties are getting back into chilling out, hanging out. No more. There uh, is a massive flying onto ships and trying to hijack them. There's a massive battle happening right now. Oh, the Ukraine, he couldn't, he couldn't resist oh, Batch. You no, 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 Batch, one up. Batch. Oh, oh, he asked for it. Oh, okay. What do we got? So, you know, Ukraine invaded Russia. Yes, yeah. I said that correctly. Okay. The cursed region. <laughs> the counterattack. And they've just dug in. They say, come on, let's go. <laughs> Which, okay. by the way, in a, any other planet, you would say yeah. that there, that's awesome. I didn't see the Russian drone blow up their own building. <laughs> they constantly. Oh, I saw they, that. They bombed their own. What do, they do? they have like the worst drones of all time? Oh, yeah. Oh, they have the... cheap. Their own drones are awful. You're blowing up your own. Their good of... drones are cheap Iranian drones. The Shahid 136s, which same thing. I just, oops, sorry about that. But right now. If you're at home and you know what a Shahid 136 is, then you got okay. a lot of free time on your it's hands. My, it's my people. <laughs> the, the Reddit, the Reddit, Reddit crew. The Reddit <laughs> Shahid. <laughs> The Reddit Shahid. Uh, the real debate is six. So yes, there's only one E. So the big debate is: is it Shahed or Shahid? 
They're going to start. I'm a Shahid guy. Shitting on our uh... this shed. He's like, oh, here comes the drone. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> so Ukraine's been in Russia for over a month. They took the Kursk region, the southern region, and they just they literally. They well, it's going to be more than that, right? No, remember, a region is like a state. They call them oblasts. No, no, I'm saying they've been in there. They've been over. Oh yeah, I don't know. I, I genuinely, I'm not sure. Maybe it's been two months. I, it's been a couple of months. Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. But Ukraine, we talked about it in the show. They they blew all the bridges themselves. Like we're not going any further. We're staying here. Come get some. There's fifty thousand Russians right now, and eleven thousand North Koreans. They are all out war. Like the reports today, it's like apocalyptic war happening right now in that region. Right in Russia. Ra- while oh, we speak. Russia. What is it? While we speak, yes. Yeah. Two days ago, Russia broke taking, the record. 1,770 taking... casualties in a day. Two days ago. Today, 1950. By this weekend, you'll, you're going to see a headline. Russia has 2,000 casualties in a day. Yeah, but what are the Ukraine casualties looking like? They're high, but they're not nearly as high. Remember, when you're defending, yeah, when you're dug in, it's, it's three to one. That's typically what they say. And the whole war has been essentially three to one but again i'm not starting the whole thing just there is the most violent battle on earth since world war ii is happening right now in kursk so, russians and north koreans against ukrainians with american weapons and it's happening so, so they're losing a thousand a day you said who the russians russia basically? no no last month russia lost 1500 every single day 1500 yeah that's see. you can look it up anywhere it's a fact Sound like Alex Jones right there. Yeah. So, <laughs> 500 and, so at this, at 500 this, and a quarter. At that, something at, like that. Well, at that pace, the war could only last 58 years with the number of, <laughs> with the number of Russian. But no, it's, it's wild. Because I thought it would be like this before the election in case Trump won and the Ukrainians were scared. Like I genuinely thought they would, for the last month, I thought they're just going to go all in and say, screw it. And they've been defending well. And, and the Russians are taking crazy casualties. But... They've kind of just maintained the balance, Ukraine. And now you have this crazy war, but Trump has some of the people he's nominated are hawks. Like, they're pro-Ukrainian. There's a part of me saying, <laughs> yeah, baby. I'm hoping RFK and, and Gabbard kind of get them on. Get, get he them just on named, right before we walked in, he named John Radcliffe, the head of the CIA. Like, Radcliffe's? Oh, really? I didn't see Ooh, that. Before we go, Radcliffe is the head of the CIA. He is a big UFO guy. Oh, so you think you're going to get your UFO files we've been hearing about? Not mine. I gave up on them. But I will say this. That was so disappointing, wasn't it? uh, Absolutely. uh, Tomorrow at 1130, there's a a UFO uh, hearing at Congress. And they're bringing in some expert that no one knows what he's going to say. All right, can we go for the Reddit trifecta here? Yeah. UFO? No, no, no. So we've got Ukraine. We've got... Uh, Singularity, just so you know. That's the best AI uh, Reddit one. All right. Well, Sorry, okay. That wasn't what you were asking. What's going on in Myanmar? Myanmar? Yeah. How's that boys doing? Yeah, it's a little shaky. All right. The, the, the rebels? A little clap. Yeah, yeah. So the junta is screwed. They can't do much. Yeah. The rebels are all these different groups. China came in and just commandeered a couple of them on their border. Important... So those rebels now stop fighting because China just literally, you're with, you're with us now. So there's still pockets of war everywhere, and the, the rebels are winning. But China stepped on the scale a little, put their thumb on the scale a little bit. Aww. But and there's also been some infighting, but we're good. Oh, come on, really? The Karens, our boys, the Karen, the Kareni, <laughs> the Karens. taking this down. They're doing good. It, the China, still hope? China, oh, no, they, they, they're winning. They keep winning town and battle after battle. It's just China coming in kind of slowed them down tremendously so that see i wouldn't mind throwing some you know support behind those folks and it's tricky i know but at least they're trying to you don't want to directly piss off china you don't want to directly piss off india those are what they, they support the india's they're all involved yeah i think Myanmar's bordered by five countries and the two big two of them are china and india but they really so care. it's kind of like the usa <laughs> puts their nose where it shouldn't be this is one of them where they're like all right, well, <laughs> we'll play that. Well, that's why it's beautiful, though. The rebels are doing it actually on their own, like old-fashioned. Right, but China's not supporting, um, what's his name? An organic rebellion? Yes, yeah, that's like, why it's so beautiful. I'm blanking on the guy. The people in charge. The junta? Yeah. Uh, sort of. They're kind of leaving them alone, aren't they? 
China is picking their spots. I mean, they've been they, this has been going on for sixty something years, right? Or whatever it's been. Yeah. <laughs> right. But not like civil war like this. This is the ten twenty seven. I mean, do they? Year. Which like do they? It sounds like sounds like nobody gives a shit who wins or loses. Just me. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm saying like you might as well throw them a bone, you know. I'm down with that. Sneaking. Yeah. Maybe, maybe uh, new CIA director John Radcliffe will. Or you just call, he hates China. Just call China and anyway. Hey, do you guys, let's just, let's just get this over with, you know? Yeah, Open right. up some markets. Let's go. Do you like that? Interesting. Yeah. I like it. All right. We are right Divide it up into three, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Myanmar? Yeah. If you got all these different rebel do groups. Do the Karens get their own group? China gets their own. We get our own. They get their oh, own. Oh, we, yeah. we got our own group. Yeah. Myanmar. And then, and then, no, and then you let everybody take over, and then you set up three free free free, uh, free trade zones. Well, then we should get Mandalay, right? Mandalay Bay? Nope, just Mandalay. <laughs> Mandalay. Bay there. <laughs> I think, right. Have they changed the name of Mandalay Bay, actually? <laughs> no. Kind of, kind of a bad connection there. Oh, I thought that was a Myanmar Burma name change reference. You're yeah. talking about um, even Paddock reference. Yeah. Okay. All right. yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, let's get some more action from Reddit. Come on, step up your game, people. You can do better than losers. Come on. I don't yeah, know. I thought that, but I, I kind of like the simplicity of it. The losers, the losers. It's growing on me. Yeah, I can just, do picture, better. I can just do better. picture somebody sitting there in their like, tie-dye shirt and like, you know, smoking weed, eating you know, like something vegan and being like, oh, losers. That's the, in your head? Yeah, like, look at this. Well, that person's watching the show right now. That's What, what do you want to say to them? Uh -huh. Say sorry. Get a burger. No. No, I'm not sorry. You should be sorry. For what? Everything. For being a, somebody in the middle? For looking at both sides of an issue? Yeah, man. For being willing to talk to everybody about anything? You're to, like George to... Bush. You're with us, you're against us. <laughs> 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 All right, that's it. Anything else you want to talk about? Are we good? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Thank you all for tuning in. And, uh, and that's that. Hopefully, you can do a switch, a morning show switch, WCAP. We need our good local broadcasting. Or City Life gets simulcasted here, live. Actually, why would they just simulcast City Life then I can on watch CAP? It. On CAP? Yeah. That'll oh work. wait, I think I think there's a reason for that. It's probably yeah. Now I think about it. <laughs> All right, that we'll could work be a bad that. idea. We'll work on that. Let's see what's going uh, on with the fights. The Republic's been saved. Tune in Thank next you, Tuesday. By the way, the fighting's looking pretty good. Oh, actually, we should, we got Tyson Jake Paul coming up. Oh yes. Well, we we'll had a quick sports segment. Okay. Was, All right, yes. I was talking about the I was talking about the uh, the council meeting. Oh 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 oh! They coming up. Oh coming yeah. Up. Oh this this looks like. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go watch this meeting. All right. All right. All right. Tyson or Jake Paul. Give me Tyson, plus 190. Yeah, right? I'm saying he can. How do you get two to one on Mike Tyson? Turn it up. 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 Give me another one. Yeah. All right, let's say goodbye to the you know viewers. They probably know that. Over 50 years. Here we go. No, I like this also better keep your schools safe. I went Good for you. School for the fifth, sixth, seventh, I can't see that guy. Oh, is, so that, is that a big iron worker? Oh, it's Howie. Bob Howie. <laughs> I know. That sounds like, here we go. <laughs> nice. All right, so it's a little bit of everything here. So Excellent. we got both sides. Uh, 105 Walker Street. Ooh. Good evening, Mayor. Still newspapers there, Lowell Sun. See? I don't hate you. Today. Love you. Uh, I'm a senior at UMass Lowell. Uh, I'm very involved on campus. I'm studying finance and marketing right now. What do you now. think? <laughs> For or against? <laughs> <laughs> Clean up the streets. All right, we're out here. See you all. Right. all. Bye. Bye.